Welcome back and now Newsline in detail. Students at the Copper Belt University have started constructing a one by three classroom block in Kitwe's Ipuskilo compound where pupils are currently learning in classes built out of raw timber, popularly known as Ifikopa. Posha Lala has details in this report. <laughs> It is one of those unlikely projects driven by an unusual source. The brands behind this school project are students themselves from the Copper Belt University. When they first came here, they were attached to see their fellow learners learning in such deplorable conditions. Over 700 pupils are here at Ipusukiro Community School in Kitwe. This community school has grade 1 to 9 in these three classroom blocks made of raw timber popular known as Ifikopa. Despite having no desks and pupils sitting on the floor, the school is just a stone's throw away from Riverside, one of the affluent neighborhoods in Kitwe. Over the years, students from the Copper Belt University have been coming to this school to mentor these learners. And the CBU students were attached. That is why they came up with the piggy band project to collect coins as a means of fundraising to build a new one by three classroom block. So that is where we got the initiative now to do some fundraising from among students themselves and from well-wishers to see if we could build a more decent classroom block, which is what we have set out to do. So far, the students have hired local bricklayers to start the project. The foundation has been laid and soon the building will take shape. We intend to electrify the place, hopefully, uh, so that we can also start having uh, evening classes. It's not only children here that need education. There are also a lot of adults here with a lot of potential. We are trying to develop the country, and we have to develop it from all sources and all corners of it all. So we're also trying to, eventually, we will, ha we will have to capture the parents as well, so that we start having night classes. The total cost of the project is estimated at 320,000 kwacha. But the students will not stop at building the structure only. So already so far we have uh, acquired uh, 20 computers. So all we're left with now is to put up a structure, which we should be able to do. So let's say in the coming two, three months, we'll have a computer lab here. We, we already have the computers. The Copper Belt Invest students have also managed to bring clean running water to Posukiro Community School. For now, these pupils will have to make do with these structures, hoping that soon, their learning environment will improve. Porsche Lala, ZNBC News in Kitwe. A consultant pediatrician at the Kitwe Central Hospital 